So there's one thing that stops people from becoming pain-free more than anything else, and that's their belief about their pain. And it's not their belief about whether TMS is real, as we talk about so often, but rather their belief about their ability to cure themselves. So what stops people the most is that they just don't believe they can do it. But of course they can. People do it every day. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pain-free future self because that's the key to curing TMS. So let's dive into that. Hi, I'm John Thornton with the Pain Cure Clinic where we teach people how to cure TMS. And today we're gonna to discuss a shift in mindset from the past to the future that pretty much has to happen before the pain will go away. And hang with me because this one idea might just be the game changer that you've been looking for. But first I wanna give you a free guide that will take you through the entire TMS curing process. And if you follow the guide's three-step formula, you should get results in just a few weeks. And by results, I mean not completely cured, but maybe 20% improvement. But once you finally see some actual progress, you'll know that you can take it all the way. So check it out at paincureclinic.us, and there's actually a link below. Okay, so believe it or not, what stops most people from curing themselves is that they spend absolutely no time thinking about the future. They're stuck in the past, they're stuck in the present, they're stuck always thinking about pain. And I know a pain level of seven or eight basically forces us to stay present dealing with and trying to manage the pain. You know, I still remember waking up in pain and then spending my entire day just trying to get comfortable. It's easy to get caught up in survival mode, just living day to day. I know exactly what you're going through. But I've also seen what derails most people from beating TMS. They start by reading healing back pain, right? And then they try to cure themselves by what? Thinking about their childhood issues and then at the same time, journaling about and thinking about their problems. And some of that stuff's not bad, but it does not by itself lead to success as you probably unfortunately already found out. So what's the answer? Well, it's pretty simple if not easy. You have to shift your focus away from the past and towards your future self who will definitely be pain-free because your future self is better than your current self. The problem is that most people see their future self as pretty much the same person as they are now, but that is not the case. We're always changing, we're always evolving, we are always adapting. You're not who you were last year and you are not who you will be next year. So here's the shift that needs to happen. Instead of getting caught up in your past self and present self, Shift instead to focus on your future self. Everybody who successfully cures TMS sees themselves as being a different person in the future, a different pain-free person. Don't focus on childhood and problems because the real game changer resides in visualizing a different and better future self. And then, and here's the key to the whole thing, People start acting and becoming that future self right now in the present. So think about it. How does your future pain-free self act and think that is calmer and generates less stress and less symptoms than your current self does? That's the key to the whole thing. And it's worth spending some time to figure out what that is. And What's also very effective is thinking about your future self doing the things that you can't do now. And even more than that, think about that one thing that you miss doing the most because your future self will definitely be able to do it because your future self has no pain. Okay, that's it for this video. Remember to get that TMS guide that I told you about. There is a link below. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you 
in the future. 